Hello everyone, in this brief video I will uh, tell you what Android Studio we have to use in this course and what kind of, what kind of Android emulator we have to uh, install after that. So uh, first of all you have to navigate in your browser to developerandroid.com and find the latest uh, Android Studio version. In this case, uh, you see in this case in my case it's 2020.3.1 and if you re read release note, you will find out uh, this is uh, the name of the version is Arctic Fox uh, 23.1. Um, so Arctic Fox 3.1 is uh, dated by September 2021. So go back to uh, the first page and click the button Download Android Studio. So we have to agree with uh, term of conditions. So installation started. So the uh, the size of the Android Studio installer is uh, about 913 megabytes. Uh, two minutes left uh, to download this package. So you have to keep installer and start by uh, double clicking on it. So please choose all default components, uh, what you want to install and uh, pressing next uh, and pressing button install, start installing. So please wait uh, while Android Studio is being installed. It will take uh, about five minutes. In some computers, it may be more. So press next when it's completed. And then uh, you have to uh, choose start Android Studio and press finish. And after this, Android Studio uh, will start installation. So we choose new project in this case. Uh, we'll go with empty activity. So after you fill the, uh, the form for the new uh, empty activity, we'll press finish. So when you choose uh, help about, uh, you should have Android Studio Arctic Fox uh, 20.3.1 um, built on August 26, uh, 2021. Uh, so you can do this updates, uh, plugin updates and Kotlin plugin updates, uh, but in this case it's not critical at this moment for right now. We just need uh, to finish just basic, uh, basic application, and you wait until Android Project will um, launch uh, Android Project panel on the left side. After this, when uh, great build will finish, you will be able to run the project by pressing. A green uh, triangle button in the top area of the screen or just pressing a shift 10. Please wait. So then when uh, the project is ready you will see main activity is available here and all the uh, build gradle files and other properties uh, available plus this uh, green button is uh, also available. When you press it you see the no target device found. In this case, you have to create device. So when you uh, go to tools, uh, check AVD manager, and you will find out you will do don't have device. So virtual device allow you to test your application without having your own physical devices. So even you have your own physical device, uh, you, it is required to create a 
a device uh, in this case uh, let's stick with the something common in this case uh, i would suggest to create for example um, something like a pixel um, a pixel device is uh, has a size 5.0 and resolution is 1080 by 119.20 press next so in this case uh, you can choose in my case because i25 uh, is the api level i choose nougat also available uh, and i press next maybe you need to press download here but it's not required in my case ABD name will be pixel api 25 and press finish So after this device is available, you can close this window and this device will be highlighted in this uh, drop-down uh, list when you uh, select uh, your application target. So right now you press uh, green button and uh, Pixel API 25 will be selected as application target. Uh, so we might need to uh, run the project again to see if uh, the project uh, will run successfully. The Gradle invocation finished, zero errors. And you see right now, Hello World is uh, running in your application. So it was a brief video how to uh, run the project, uh, how to run the first application. So when you're done with, with the project, you can uh, close... Uh, emulator and then you have to properly exit android studio by choosing file exit 